Good morning and welcome to a lesson on spherical trigonometry. The intended learning outcome for this session are as follows. Understand why we need to learn spherical trigonometry. Next is understand what is a spherical triangle, its related terms, and its various properties. Third is to understand how to use Napier's rule for solving right spherical triangles. And lastly, to solve problems involving right spherical triangles. So without further ado, let's start. First is, why do we need to learn spherical trigonometry? Okay, shown is an advertisement of Philippine Airlines showcasing the capabilities of their new set of aircrafts. Okay, now what I would like to focus here is the path which the airplane takes, okay, this one. As you can observe, it is not a mere straight route, okay, this one, unlike what we were solving last time. Any guess why the path is like this before we proceed? Give you five seconds to think about it. Okay, the map shown here is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional Earth, okay? Itong nakikita nyo dito na mapa is just a representation ng hugis bola natin na Earth, okay? Therefore, if your answer is because the Earth is a sphere, specifically an oblate spheroid, then you are on the right track. The Earth is a sphere and our lesson is a spherical trigonometry. Our lesson is related to latitudes and longitudes, okay? This subject is related also to astronomy, the geosciences, and for our purposes, in the context of your course, is Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation, Navigation. Now, few terms before we proceed, okay? So first is the Great Circle, okay? Which is a section of a sphere that contains a diameter of the sphere. Well, sections of the sphere that do not contain a diameter are called small circles. So ito yan. This illustration, ito nang nasa gitna, na circle. This is known as the Great Circle. Anything na hindi sa gitna, okay, na circle, we call this small circles, okay? So to better illustrate this one, isipin nyo na naghihiwa kayo ng sibuyas, okay? Yung mga circles na nakikreate natin dun sa ibabaw, especially kung nasa ibabaw ka palang nagsaslice, are called small circles. Pero pag dumating ka na sa gitna, especially dun sa pinakagitna, that's the time you are creating a great circle. Now, para mas madali nating makuha kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin nitong great circle at small circle, we have an illustration here. So this is the longitudinal lines and this is the latitudes, okay? Ang sabi dito, all longitudes are blank circles. Okay? Tingnan nyo itong picture na to, illustration na to, and think about it for a second in relation to the definition that was stated in the previous slide. All longitudes are blank circles. In this picture naman, for the second part, all latitudes are blank circles, except for blank. Okay. Now, if you answered here that all longitudes are, okay, kung titingnan mo dito, create circles, then sakto yan. Okay. Dito naman, if you answered all latitudes are, okay, small circles except for the equator, okay, then that is also correct since the equator is a great circle. Now that we have established what great circles and small circles are, let's discover what are spherical segments, okay? Now, according to the definition, a spherical segment is a finite part of a great circle, okay? To illustrate this point or to illustrate this definition, let's say for example, okay, we have this great circle, ito nasa gitna. Let's say for example, within this great circle, we have two points, point A and another point B. If we interconnect these two points together, okay, this is now what we call a spherical segment, okay? a finite part of a great circle. Now, if we have three spherical segments okay, which forms a triangle, then we have what is called a spherical triangle, okay? which is basically a group of three spherical segments. So, ano ba yung forma nitong spherical triangle and how does it differ in form to the triangles that we have already discussed, yung right triangles as well as the oblique triangles. Paano nagkakaiba ito sa, kanil, sa forma? Okay? So we have a video here. Try to look at the various forms that our spherical triangle takes. Okay? So this one is a spherical triangle. This is also a spherical triangle. 
that is a spherical triangle. Yan. And lastly, yan. Okay? So those are all forms, okay, of spherical triangles. Okay. Now that we have learned what are spherical triangles, okay, what is a spherical segment, and what is the great circle, let's go to the parts of a spherical triangle. What are the various parts of this particular triangle? Okay, yung pinakita natin kanina. So una, itong triangle na to also have sides represented by these small letters A, B, and C. Kung titignan natin dito sa drawing, this one, ito, at ito, okay, these are the sides of our spherical triangle. Now, this triangle also has angles represented by the capital letters A, B, and C. Okay? This angle, A, this angle, B, and this angle, C. Okay? So those are basically the parts of our spherical triangle. Now, now that we have learned the parts, let's go to the properties. Kailan ba natin masasabi okay, na itong triangle na ito na sinusolve natin is a spherical triangle? Okay? So the first property of a spherical triangle is the sides of a spherical triangle are measured in degree, minutes, and seconds. Now this is very important na differentiation between the, the triangles that we have already solved in the past lessons and this topic in spherical trigonometry. Na yung sides ngayon is hindi na in units of meters, kilometers, and nautical miles. But here, sinasabi dito that sides of the spherical triangle is in degree, minutes, and seconds. Kaya we had our lesson in conversion. Conversion natin from degree to minutes, okay, degree to radian. Okay? Ito daw, the sides A, C, and B is in degree, minutes, and seconds. Now, what is the implication of this? In in the illustrations that we have presented kanina, we learned that latitudes, okay, longitudes, related to spherical triangles. And kung ating babalikan, itong long latitudes, itong longitudes are actually measured in degrees. Okay? So, marapat lang na itong mga sides na to, A, B, at saka C, is actually in the unit of degree, minutes, and seconds. Okay? Now, for the next property, no side can exceed 180 degrees. Meaning, itong A, B, and C, okay, pag nag-solve tayo later on, hindi siya po pwede na mag-lagpas ng 180 degrees. Kailangan less than or equal to 180 degrees. Okay? The next property is the three angles of a spherical triangle must together be more than 180 degrees and less than 540 degrees. Okay? Mas madali natin itong ma maintindihan in equation 4. So, ang sinasabi lang dito sa third na property is that pag in daw natin yung angle A, B, at saka C, kailangan yung sum or yung total, okay, mas malaki siya sa 180, pero less than siya ng 540. Sir, pwede ba equal ng 180? Pwede ba equal ng 540? Hindi, okay? Because the symbol here, wala tayong equal sign. It's, those are the properties of our spherical triangles. Now, it is important to remember these properties in order to check our answers later. Okay? So, bear these properties in mind. And with that, let's start with the simplest of all spherical triangles, which is the right spherical triangle. A spherical triangle with one angle equal to 90 degrees. So, kung titignan nyo dito sa illustration, okay, madali yung ma malalaman na right spherical triangle yan because of this right angle here. Now, how do we solve this type of triangles? In spherical trigonometry, in solving right spherical triangles, we will be using what we call the Napier's Rule for right spherical triangles. Basically, kailangan natin ito. Okay? Kailangan natin itong matandaan, kailangan natin itong ma-drawing okay? before solving anything involving right spherical triangles. Okay? So, ito yung ating, so, ito yung ating gagamitin to solve right spherical triangles. So, sabi dito, use this to solve these types of triangles. Yung may right angle. Okay? Now, Ano ba itong Napier's rule? So basically, meron ng dalawang rule si Napier. Una, is yung tinatawag na sin cos of rule. Okay, no? Ano ba itong ibig sabihin ng sin cos of? It states that the sine of an unknown part is equal to the product of the cosines of the opposite parts. So, mas madali natin itong maiintindihan through an example. So, example. Example, hindi natin alam yung value ng side A. Ito. 
if this is unknown, okay, using this tool, okay, pag ito daw unknown, sabi niya dito, the sine of an unknown part, so sine ng A is equal to the product of the cosines of the opposite parts. Ano ba yung opposite nito? Ano sabi, at bang, ani? Ano ba yung katapat? So katapat nito is itong 90 degrees minus A at itong 90 degrees minus A. Sir, pa, paano mo nasabi ng katapat yan? Because itong natitira dito, 90 degrees minus B, at saka itong B na maliit, is katapat or katabi. Okay? So, ito yung katapat. So, basically, pag in-apply natin yung sin cos of na rule, sine of the unknown part is equal to the product, the product of the cosines of the opposite parts. Kaya 90 minus C yan, at saka 90 minus A. Okay? Now, another one. What if ito naman yung hinahanap? 90 degrees minus C or yung side C yung hinahanap na value ng ating spherical triangle. Okay? Pag ito naman yung hinahanap, using sin cos of na rule, sine of an unknown part, so sine nito, sine ng 90 degrees minus C will be equal to the product, product of the cosines ng opposite na parts. Opposite to this is A and B. So that is why this is our answer or this is our equation to solve for this particular unknown value. Okay? Now since this is not complete, you try. Use Napier's sin cos of rule to find the equivalent, equivalent equation if the missing parts are this one, this one, and this one respectively. Now moving on to the second rule of Napier. Okay? The second rule is what we call sin tan ad rule. Okay? It says that the sine of an unknown part is equal to the product of the tangents, kung kanina ko sa ito naman tangents, pero ngayon, of the adjacent parts. Again, to an example. Kung ito yung hinahanap, the sine of an unknown part, okay, the sine of an unknown part is equal to the product of the tangents, okay, of the adjacent parts. So, katabi ng A is 90 degrees minus B at saka itong B na maliit or yung side B. So, that is why this is our equation. Next, next naman is, what if ito yung hinahanap, okay, using sin tan ad rule, the sine of the unknown part is equal to the product of the tangents of the adjacent parts. That's why it's tangent 90 minus B times tangent 90 minus A. So basically, yun yung sin tan ad rule naman. Okay? So again, meron tayong mga kulang na equations dito. Ito, hindi pa natin na-solve. This one and this one. So kayo na bahala mag-solve niyan. Okay? To complete the five equations corresponding to the utilization of sin tan ad rule. Now, let's go to an example para ma-apply natin kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng sin tan ad rule at sin cos of rule at kailan natin siya magagamit. So, okay. So, the, for the first example, so given the spherical triangle shown on the right, this one. Okay? If side A is equal to 50 degrees and side C is equal to 80 degrees, determine the value of angle B, angle A, and side B. So, given daw tayo nitong a na side, at saka C, this one. Determine the value of angle B, ito, angle A, at side B. Okay. Now, notice the property, the first property, which is yung sides naka-degrees. Okay. A daw is 50 degrees, ito naman is 80 degrees. Now, to solve for angle B, okay, for our solution, using Napier circle, okay, so ito yan. Isolve doon natin itong angle B, this one. Okay? So take note, yung given sa, sa atin is yung side A at side C. Saan ba yan dito sa Napier circle? Ito yung hinahanap. Ang given sa atin, side A at saka side C, itong dalawa. Okay? So kaano-ano ng 90 minus B, itong dalawang given. Okay? Kung ang sagot ninyo ay katabi, adjacent parts, then we agree that we will be using here the sin tan ad rule. Okay? The sine of the unknown part is equal to the product of the tangents of the adjacent parts. Kaya naman, ito yung gagamitin natin na equation to solve for angle B. Okay? Now, substituting the values, alam natin that A is 50, C is 80. Yan. So, ito yung lalabas. Then, simplifying further, 90 minus 80 will be 10 degrees 
Okay? So, tangent 10 times tangent 50, lalabas will be this decimal. To solve for B, we take the inverse trigonometric function of sine. So, take arc sine of both sides. This cancels out. Yan. Matitira sa left side of the equation will be 90 minus B. Okay? At dito naman is the arc sine of this decimal. Okay? So, 90 minus B, take the arc sine, will be 12.13. Itong negative B, lipat natin sa kabila, magiging positive. Ito naman, lipat natin dito sa left side, magiging negative. Yan. So, simplifying, we have B is equal to 77.87 degrees or in degrees and minutes, it will be 77 degrees, 52 minutes. Now, paano yan naging ganyan? Okay? You just press this button on your calculator. From decimal, automatic magiging ganito yung form niyan. Okay? Actually, meron pang seconds yan na i-display. Okay? Because this, this button means degree, minutes, then seconds. Meaning, it's an auto-conversion to degrees, minutes, and seconds na unit. Okay? So, that is in solving angle B. Now, for your part, tatlo yung hinahanap. Okay? Nasolve na natin tong angle B. What I want you to do, okay? Since dalawa lang naman yung Napier's rule, okay? I want you to solve for angle A and side B. Now, after you have solved, you check your answers using the properties of spherical triangles. Okay? Ano-ano ba yung properties? I-recall ninyo or balikan nyo sa video. Para ma-check ninyo, after you have solved A and B, okay? Is it correct? In accord is it in accordance with the properties of spherical triangles. And comment down below your answers para matingnan din natin. Okay? Now, for those who will be commenting, the first five commenters on this particular activity, okay, I will be, so wala naman akong pwedeng maibigay sa inyo kasi naka-quarantine tayo. So, sandamakmak na shoutout na lang ibibigay ko on our next video. So, bali, ikakat ko yung inyong comment and then, isa shoutout natin. Okay? Okay, so that will be your prize for commenting in this particular video. So, that would be all for this session. I hope you've learned something. And by the way, for those who have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe and leave it a thumbs up if naging helpful itong video na to sa inyo. And I'll see you on the next video.